Hi everyone, so this is my tutorial on how to do the makeup that I do for Chicago. So, as you can see, this is me doing the tutorial in my bathroom. So to start off with, I have to prep my hair. So I brush all my hair, make sure it's all nice and neat and tidy. And I grab a hair tie and I tie it up at the back to keep it out of my face. I then get a couple of those lovely covered b coloured bobby pins and I pin up my fringe also to keep it out of my face so it's just easier to get everywhere and without having anything in the way. That pin didn't want to stay in. I then grab my foundation. Now mine is a CoverGirl foundation, match perfect, and I use an orange brush that I got from my local Maya. And I, sp I put about a, a squirt, and I use that to put all, of my all over my face. Now when you're putting on liquid foundation with a brush, you need to make sure that you sort of keep in the general direction or follow the contours of your face. Otherwise it can just look messy. Um, so just make sure that you remember that. Now I don't actually use concealer because I don't need it and a lot of people think that they do but I really don't so if you need concealer add that before this and I also normally would moisturize before this but I didn't. Now I'm also going slightly onto my chin, um, under my chin onto my neck so that that way it sort of blends out with the rest of my skin a lot ne nicer and neater. just doing it all over my eyelids, making sure it's all nice and even, and then you go. I then take a powder um, foundation, and I could use the sponge on the back, but it, it puts it on too thick, so I decided to go with my pink fluffy brush, which I also got from my local Maya, and I just do the once over to make sure that the foundation is all set, and it stays on, and it also helps sort of blend everything out. I do apologize for my voice, by the way, because I have a cold at the moment, which is why I had the time to actually stay home and make this. I then take an eyeliner, which I don't know what the brand is because I've had it for a while, and I line my eyes. Now for this, I actually do it quite thick. A lot of people don't do it as thick as I do. Some people don't do it at all, but I prefer to do it quite thick because it just outlines my eyes because they're a really bright color. I then go up slightly to match with the lashes on the on my top lid just to give it a bit more definition and to finish off the look. Just like so. And I just neaten it up on both sides, make sure it's even and you're done. I then get my extra super lash by Max Factor and uh, it's a really nice brush and you do, I apply it to my top layers first and then I apply it to my bottom lashes. Now I really like this brush because it separates the lashes really well and makes them look really long and pretty without having to use any fake lashes which I really like. So here I'm just doing the bottom lashes, I get some product on it and then spread it out just to further outline my eyes. And there you go, my eyes are done. Next I'm going to use a bright red lipstick which I got for like $4 at a local makeup shop. And I'm just going to put that all over my lips because for this production we need bright red lips because it's 1920s and it was just all the rage. So I just sort of Sl uh, slowly outline my lips first and I fill in the rest of it with the lipstick and I neaten it up around on the edges with my fingers just make sure that it all looks good and there you go I then bite my finger to get all the lipstick off so it doesn't get all over my teeth then I took a pink lip gloss which you can't even tell that it's pink when it's on just to give a bit of shine to my lips to make them you know shinier and I spread out the product with my finger to make sure that the actual lip gloss tip does not get covered in red lipstick instead my finger does I then bite my finger again and it's all done I just take out my hair and give my fringe a bit of a brush and you're finished so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I know that it's late but 
I really do hope that you enjoy. Bye. That jazz.